Hey there everyone, it's Pixel Cadet right here. Today it's Monday, um, July 15th, 2024. And unfortunately there is no new um, usual videos coming up this week. But instead I just want to give you a bit of update of what I've been doing. And first thing I want to share with you, I'm so happy that I finally have something new again to test print and these are gonna be some new units for battle clubs they are all printed but I haven't had a chance to um, assemble them and test them out and record at the same time but they're all here so for a long time viewer you guys might have some hint seeing from these two items right here so yeah, new contents will be coming soon. I'm so happy that finally I get a chance to go back to this again. Uh, second thing that I want to talk about is um, thanks for the comment. Uh, on my previous video, I realized that the, the 3D printer that I receive um, and I reviewed, uh, turns out it wasn't the Ender 3 V3 SE but rather it's the Ender 3 V3, so without SE. Um, I went down a rabbit hole, did some research, and only then I realized the small uh, difference that each of the uh, series has. And yeah, I learned something new and apologize for the confusion. Uh, just small clarification that it's the Ender 3 V3. And speaking of that printer, uh, if I saw in the previous video that I talk about building um, a, excuse me, I'm trying to build a dry box for my new 3D printer because uh, it's sitting outside and you know to protect the filament even more. So I'm thinking to create a dry box, and I found this really cool tutorial um, that I don't have name of in my head but i'll make sure to <coughs> include the link to this super cool creator who uh, share a tutorial to make a dry box by yourself with stl included and the, the part list there as well so based on uh, his tutorial i bought this huge cereal box um, that i'm gonna turn into uh, filament dry box so I'm really looking forward to see uh, how it's gonna go so far I have four here that I'm gonna you know turn into a dry box maybe I'll, I'll make one for now and see how it goes I also already bought the small part here I have the, the file for the PTFD tube some bearings to you know make the roller slightly smoother so that to make sure that the filaments inside that dry box will can uh, easily rotate as well and yeah that's uh, that's pretty cool and um, I guess that's update for today um, I just want to share how happy I am that to hear this printer finally wearing again to see it finally in action again and print and it's also so cool to see that uh, my Bumble Lab printer works like a charm and uh, I've, I've been turning this off I mean this printer has been off for at least two weeks and when I turn it on, turn it back, back on, put new files, it just prints like how I left it before so no collaboration needed and everything that's pretty cool as well and yeah I can't wait to record the the building content and also like the uh, the tests for this new unit so stick around uh, it's coming soon and I guess I'll see you in the next log entry bye bye